salutations good people it's melissa here back with another video welcome welcome and welcome back um it's been a minute since i've shown my face maybe almost a year i don't know several months not 100 percent sure but welcome back uh or welcome period i feel rusty so we've got a haul uh preface this is a judgment-free zone okay judgment-free zone I got braids. I pierced my septum. Judgment free zone. So let's get into the haul. I'm gonna warn you right now, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, it's a lot of stuff. So we've got some Nomad. So I got the Whistler Lodge. Ooh. So we have Whistler, which is really nice actually. And we have the Paradise palette, which is a very beautiful. I've only used the greens. <laughs> I've only used the greens. So, there's that. No judgments, remember. Judgment free. Judgment free. Okay, okay. Okay, so. This is part of my Sephora orders, plural. Okay, orders, plural. So, I picked up the, oh, it's going to be blown out. The Jackie Ina Forever Mood, the uh, Scented Votive Candles. This is Caked Up Left on Red Matcha Business and Cuffing Season. I currently have Left on Red Burning right now. So here, I'll take them out of them. So this slides off and then it says open to get lit. And then it opens up and right now they smell nice actually. Um, so. I'm not mad, it was 50 bucks, but I had, I'm a VIB, so I got 50, 15% off, so I'm not mad, which it was 50% off. I would've paid $25 for this, definitely. I can smell, I have left on red burning right now um, in my living room, don't worry, it's safe. But um, I can smell it, it actually smells really nice. The throw or the scenty thing. I'm not a candle girl. Uh, I have candles. I just, I like them. Uh, it smells good. That's all I know. It makes the apartment smell good. It smells good. So let's proceed to the large box of stuff at my feet. And then there's a small rant about what's also in the box. Okay. 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 So your girl bought the Supreme Bronze Palette from Artist Couture. Stupid. And also the Supreme Wolves. Remove. <clears throat> it's not living up to the hype that is Supreme Nudes. It's okay. It's drier than I expected. Although I will say I have Midnight Maven, uh, Supreme Nudes, um, the little Caliente palette, something else. I have pretty much all their eyeshadow palettes, right? This is not living up to their first two. Okay, it's nice. But it is not living up to it. And same thing with the Supreme Wolves. Um, or Moves. Depends on how you like to pronounce it. Moves or Moves. The Move Avenger. If you know where that's from. So it's dry. Like the mats are actually okay, but the shimmers. Lackluster. I'm not trying to give reviews. I'm just showing you what I've got. Uh, let's see. 
So that's part of the Sephora. This is just all lumped together. So these are obviously Nomad, Sephora, Ulta, uh, Beautylish, just a general haul. Um, I got the Silky Lip Oil from Artist Couture. I did secure the Silky. I did not realize, I will say, minor review here, I will say, I dislike how hard it is to pull the doe foot out there and then how ginormi it is. But it is good for a, getting one good swipe in and getting all the product on your lips. But it's a little difficult. It gets a little easier to remove from, um, in and from the component with time, but still work on the paddle component of the doe foot. Okay, where else do I want to go? In this, it's such a big box. Hang on. Okay, so. Viziat uh, from Beauty Leash. So, I was able to get my little hands on Golden Hour, which is beautiful. I love my Libertine palette. It took me forever to get my hands on it, um, but I did. And I've used this a couple times, and I will say, I really like it. It's actually a really good formula. And the metallics and shimmers are really nice. I will say, they are flattering. That is something I'm finding. I'm not ancient, but obviously, I'm aging. We're all aging every day. Um, I will say, um, as I'm wearing metallics and several multi-chromes on my eye right now so <laughs> I will say it's flattering it doesn't make the eye look like a wrinkly sack you know so there's that this is good then I I don't know why I bought this but I want it so bad the the Petite Pro 4 Apricotine Oop, just stuck my finger in the shadow but it's cute little peachy neutral and then I finally got my hands on Midsummer. I wanted this one so bad and I just it's because that one shade in the corner here just looked so freaking magical this shade right here and honest to goodness when you can't even see it but it's a really pretty blue pink purple like duochrome shimmer I will say this these three mattes uh, very pasty the only one really I can vibe with is this one, so. But I want, it's like, I need to stop. I'm a policy monster, I need to be stopped. I finally got my hands on the Petrite Pro 2. It's because I'm a sucker for this color story. Oh, also from Beauty Bay, I did get a palette. Which one did I get from Beauty Bay? I got one from Beauty Bay too. And the Rose. Rose edit. I kind of smushed a shadow a little bit, but it's pretty. I'm a sucker for pink. Look, as you can see, it's pink and purple. My favorite look. Literally, I went and I did the most basic look I could figure. What else do I have here? Um, a sample packet of the Milk Hydro Grip. Never tried it, curious about it. Oh yes, a uh, Clinique Cheek Pop Blush. This is Black Honey Pop. And it's actually what I have on my cheeks today. I like it, but I like the Cola Plop. Cola pop cheek pop blush. I can't words hard difficult. I want the other one. I should have worn the other one, but I want to give this a try since I bought this one from the Sephora sale because this shade wasn't available in Ulta when I went earlier this year for my birthday. So, so there's that. Doodly -doo -doo -doo. But 
by the Bell Sunflower palette. Yellowy. Yellow brown neutrals. It's just pretty. No judgment zone, remember? No judgment zone. You might judge me for this one. Windflower by the boss. It is really a lot prettier than what it looks, honest to goodness. And this is actually a duochrome. Kind of the basic one, like the blue, green, brown. But it's actually lovely. <clears throat> Care Bears. The Care Bear Stare. Yeah, so I bought it. No shame. Oop, it's totally blown out. I forgot how to work lights at this point. Do you see how pretty? It's actually a lot prettier than what it looks. There you go. It's a lot more vibrant in person. So there. <sighs> because they had the giant bottle, the jar. And uh, I've heard some things about, I don't know. I've heard some not so good things about pharmacy or I hope they're not like an MLM. But if so, this is the last time I'm buying this sap sucker. This should last me a while considering I don't put a full beta on Okay, I don't put a full bead of makeup on like I used to. Literally, I did the whole shenanigans today. So, jumbo size jar. I still have a half full um, large one. So, I should uh, need... It's a good size. Um, I shouldn't have a need for this one just yet. And I also have some other um, cleansing oil and makeup. So this, if they've gone down the shit, huh? I, you know, I got this. So there's that. Oh my God, this box is so heavy. <laughs> this is a Dior bag show. I'm just literally, I have a bag. I have another empty box by my feet, so I'm just throwing it and down there so the Dior powder no powder I have the shade 6n neutral I've used this you know I like it I like it I don't know if it's gonna replace my my favorite um, well my BH one that I really loved is probably no longer gonna be made um, but I have one from Bare Minerals that I use to normally set my face when I do my makeup. And I really like this one. Who's got time to be this expensive and bougie? It gets better, y'all. Because you thought I bought one. I bought YSL. Uh, illicit Opium. or Yeah, Illicit Green. I wasn't sure. I liked how the notes were. Um, but I bought the travel size. And I will say, I love it. And I will probably be purchasing the large one very soon. Mm, it smells so good. It smells so good. Putting it back in a little container. And I re-upped on my replica. This one is Jazz Club. And Yelica Nyquist uh, sold me on this one. And I bought this. And then also I bought, because uh, Lauren Me Beauty, uh, kept talking about Dossier, and I kept seeing commercials for it. They have a uh, an homage or a, a version of this. And somebody just says, you smell like the sexiest man or the sexiest club. I was like, and I work in a hospital. It, it's just a very little bit. And they just literally, people just be like, oh my God, you smell sexy. I have to say, I don't have a sexy body. I mean, I'm quite zaftig, uh, fluffy, if you will. So to say I smell sexy, 
I'm smell sexy for your shirt, too sexy for your streets. I mean, it's wonderful. Got this also in the Sephora sale. Um, and some skincare. So this is the Paula's Choice. I couldn't beat this one. It's two full sizes. So I heard, because I do have texture, which I'm not ashamed of. I just want to smooth out. I've been on a better skincare regimen and I have been seeing improvements. But, I, you know, I just wanted to, I got recommended this. And it's the Paula's Choice 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant Salicylic Acid. Um, I do have, obviously, large pores. I mean, your girl has texture. I don't have a lot of fine lines. But, you know, I just want to even my skin tone a little bit. Just to chill on the hyperpigmentation. I could probably chill if I didn't freaking pick my face. Um, then it has the, the Azaleic Acid Booster. And then the retinol treatment so I'm actually really happy with this so I haven't really broke into it except I use the BHA I just put everything back in the box as you can see it was spendy it was like 60 something dollars so I just want to put everything back in the box so you could see how it comes originally so yeah I am liking the BHA I use uh, my favorite toner to use, if you want to know, is the CosRx uh, toner. I get it from Ulta. It's like 20, 25 bucks. 20, either 20 to 22 or 25 dollars. I will say it's, it comes in a spray bottle. I just uh, spray it on a pad and I was just like, cotton pad, a reusable cotton pad. I've been buying those lately. I still have some regular ones that I'm just using up. Oh, it's so good. Um, and also I have some leftover Pixie Glow Tonic. Uh, that's been working. Also, one more time for the bougie train. This is Tina the Fancy Face's fault. If you can see this, that is right. That is a Gucci lipstick. This is a Gucci lipstick. I got the shade Tony Purple in 703. It's the matte version. When she was doing, like, she was like, oh, get yourself a Gucci lipstick. I was like, freaking love it and I have a problem they have a green one the Verdun and I'm gonna buy it it's 40 something dollars I can't say much because the lipstick I have on today it's not the Gucci lipstick it's also something I hold oh it's sitting over here I said over here it is the mother Pat McGrath labs I love this this is the shade and I'm probably gonna butcher how to say this uh, this is the matte trance 200 mic Manami, McManami, McManami, Mickey, Le Mickey Donalds. There, let's just go with that. Okay, shade two hundred. Okay, this I've used this at least four times. I love it so much. I love it. It's comfortable. It's not drying. It doesn't get on my teeth actually. Pretty much. I think it's flattering because I love dark lip colors. That's uh, I think that's just like my signature lip. My mom's was a red lip. You know, there's lots of famous people that they have a signature look. Uh, red lip is uh, my mom was my mom's, and my sister looks good too. But dark burgundies, um, dark fuchsias, dark deep dark purples. That's me. That's my thing. Now the last of the Sephora stuff, I wanted to try the Give Beauty by. The one, the only, Gwen Stefani. Don't speak. Okay, so my initial order. So the box says, I'm just a girl. It's just a girl, right? Um, cardboard. It's cute, right? It says just a girl on the back. Okay, the website, the Sephora website, photos look funny. So hold please, let me show you the other ones. I will say, this one says rich girl. Rich girl, just a girl, okay? I'm a little peeved, peeved, peeved. I'm just gonna set this big ass box on my bed. 
peeved because I essentially, I got four of the same eyeshadow palettes. Hold on, let me just, <laughs> hang on, I'll show you. So, just a girl. Just a girl. Just a girl. Woo, not trying to fall over. There we go. Just a girl. Yet the boxes, two of the boxes say rich girl. Essentially, I got the four of the same eyeshadows. Well, oh, don't mind the mess of my room. <laughs> it's called living, going to school, and being a nursing student. There's no time. Yeah same freaking palette now I'm upset because I called Sephora customer service phenomenal I said well I got some the wrong eyeshadow palettes because I ordered just a girl and rich girl because those are the color schemes that I gravitated towards hmm. that's not what I got uh, one the packaging is all wonky two they essentially just sent me the same one. I think it's not Sephora's fault. I think it's the company. And also, I do like the fact that it is, you can, I guess, remove the component. I learned that. Uh, but side by side. They put the wrong uh, palettes in a rich girl box, but these are not the same. Now, let me just show you. I still haven't figured out how to like insert clip here. Your girl's working on it, okay? In between trying to be, you know, mildly tech savvy. I'm learning. It's a learning process. Okay. So you see, here is the rich girl. This is, it says, rich girl, rich golden bronze. Okay, I'm gonna show you my own cell phone. Okay. Just a girl, let me show you. That's what I have four of. Okay. This one. Okay. It's supposed to be a rose gold. These pictures are not true. Okay. Because I'm pissed. Part of me wants to go on the IG or be like, uh, I got four of the same damn eyeshadow palettes. Miss Stefani Shelton. Uh,. I spend good money, okay? Even with a sale, 15% off. It's not that much. Still my money, okay? Okay. Oh, I have more stuff. That was my minor rant. Back to my other stuff. Uh, I got a couple of more Sigma palettes. Oh yeah. I got the new mod, which is the new release, so. Oh yeah. So. I'm excited, I haven't used it, I haven't swatched it yet. But I'm really excited for it, so. Ooh. And then, the Cinderella. I wanted it and I just, I'm one of those people that doesn't have to buy the now new palette, but oh, this one's from like Christmas, like what, holiday? And it's actually far prettier in person than what it was online. So, it's so cute. So, ooh, what else? Uh, the rest of the Beauty Bay stuff is sitting further on my bed. It was not in the box. Un momento, por favor. 
wait, I can't say, did I say Beauty Bay? I meant Beautylish. I did order from Beauty Bay this year. It took forever. I got a couple of Be Perfect palettes from there. I showed it. I'll link the video. It's like my larger palettes. I'll link that up. That was like literally like a month or two ago. Um, I ordered from them. It took forever to get here. But I got my hands on the Petite Mattes Dark. I've been wanting this one. So I'm um, so excited. And I just can't hide it. LDB Beauty influenced me to try Busy Art Her and Kelsey Brianna J. I will say, um, I love. So, I enjoy Viseart mattes. I don't know if it's just because I'm getting older. I still like sparkly, shifty things, as you can see. I have shifty things in my eyes. But, um, I am loving a matte look. I actually have an all, all matte inner corner highlight in Yellow Kidney in, uh It's a light pink one. I enjoy it. Uh, my eye isn't gunky like it normally is um, with like a beautiful shimmer or a multi-chrome. Speaking of multi-chromes, so let's, I have an Adept palette. It's all fingerprinty, but these are this side are all my beautiful Davina shadows I've added. So I've got that. That's the Midnight Sun, Fairy Fire. I've got the Laveau collection. Uh, some of the, I think, I have all the Aurora Flares. Just uh, the Butterfly collection. There's like a lot. And then the other half of the palette, not quite as full. But I do have uh, some left, some more Davinas, some Baby Bat Beauty, Shroud. Um, what other company? Oh, there's a multi chrome in here from another. I couldn't tell you. Is it also Davina? I think a Terra Moons is in here too. I tried it. I'm not that important. Like I think Terra Moons is nice. It's okay. Yeah, one's a Terra Moon. So I tried. I I like it. Uh, my, as you can see, my multi-chrome shifty goodness is growing. I have also so I have uh, these are my adept palettes. Uh, I have all of them. This one is actually part of what I'm wearing today is from the Heather Austin palette. So this one is the Heather Austin palette. I got it the day it launched. I ordered it smooth. I had a very fast checkout. It was super easy. It's actually part of the look I'm wearing today. Um, it's so beautiful. I have Passport and Scrubs mixed on my lids. It's crazy. And I have another multi-chrome that I pulled in and I mixed them all together and it just turned into this beautifulness. I have, what was it? Really beautiful dark shade. PA02. She's a respiratory therapist. I'm in school to be a registered nurse. Uh, if I never announce that, yeah, I'm in nursing school. I have plans. I'm also starting the legwork to work on my master's while doing this. Yeah, so. It's B-A-N-A-N-A-S. I am so going to email give. I have the Codane or the Codan palette. This is truly lovely. It's really beautiful. Although I'm not a fan of the mattes. In this one, I love the pink matte, but not the green one. I think I would have made this one a little bit deeper or a little bit more true. Um... I can't think of the word. This is the original Plain Jane. Ooh. And mine's had some love. Cause you, and I actually did mix some of the Plain Jane. I think I did. Yep, ACI 7 also is mixed on my lids. So 
I literally just mixed a whole bunch of like beautiful multi-chrome, iridescent duochromes all over my eyes. It's a good time. Here is Plain Jane Remastered. Boom. So there's that. And then also, Amunet New, or Amunet New, yep, Dark. Obviously, I was not gonna get the light version. The hell that gonna do for me? So then, this is actually really, really nice. And I will say the packaging is really nice too. It it totally does give the Natasha Denoni vibes. Um, and last but not least, the Ninhydrin. So, there's that as well. As you can see, there's a shade that I've, uh, I've got a big dent in. I've used it often. Especially when I've just been lazy. Uh, my go-to looks lately have been sometimes just sticking my finger in a special shadow or a super shock. Pat, 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 pat. Uh, a quick swipe of colorful liner and like two coats of mascara. Take some of the last of our mascara, rub it in my brows. No base products, like no complexion products, just that. If I want to feel fancy. Ooh, also, let me move my Kleenex. My Kleenex. This one was also from uh, Beautylish. It's actually sitting over here. Uh, anytime I look at this, I think of... Uh, Oh, now mine is not the same. I've actually flip-flopped a few shades out, but here is my Biba. Yep, it's a neutral palette with a pop of green. <laughs> I thought it was complimentary, so. Yeah. Biba. I think that's it. Oh wait, I do have one other thing. I bought the mini Xenon. I don't know why, but I literally have the color plop smoke show, blow and smoke, whatever the heck it's called now. And I bought this. I do have a Charlotte Tilbury quad around here. Yes, look. I think I found it. Don't. Don't judge me. This is the luxury palette. This is Mesmerizing Maroon. It's so freaking pretty. I actually really like it. The quality is really nice. Um, it was, I got it on a really good discount. I did not pay the $53 for this, so I think I paid half of what this is. So it's like 20 something, it's like $22, it's $21 or something, $21.50 or something. $21.50, yes, $53, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's my haul. At this point, I can't distinguish what I got from Ulta, Sephora. Like, some of the stuff I can distinguish from Sephora. But Ulta, Sephora, Beautylish. <sighs> Adepts. I bought some stuff straight from Sigma. I did buy another Sigma palette. The ambiance, the neutral one. The beautiful one. Um, on Beauty Bay. So that was part of my Beauty Bay order. And I think I got like a like it was a moisturizer. I also got that too. <laughs> so send help. Thanks. So let's see if I can remember how to do this. 
So thank you again for watching. Uh, please take care of yourself. Take care of one another. It would behoove you to do the right things, you know, in life. Um, it's still a, jong a jongle out there. So please, uh, if you're in an area, please mask up. Please be safe. Make smart choices. Um, also, let those that you're around, let them know that you love them and you're thinking about them and you care about them. Text, email, write. And if it's safe, go visit, please. Uh, wash your hands, wash your arse, wash your clothes, wash your house. You have to have the two C's and the D. My friend Nikki and I were talking about that. Comet, Clorox, and Dawn. They don't have that in their house. And bathroom soap. Do not even eat a pop tart that you unwrapped in the house. GTFO. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'm so freaking out of practice. I don't remember. I don't remember how to do pretty much 99% of any of this. But thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. I'm probably going to film one more video and uh, be weird. So thank you. Uh, please check me out. Follow me. Uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh my gosh, that felt weird. Peace easy.